God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, Without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and God, we may use the things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth, a man of strife and contention to all a land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart, because I bore your name. O Lord God of hosts, I did not sit celebrating in the circle of merrymakers. Under the weight of your hand, I sat alone because you filled me with, it with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed become for me a treacherous brook whose waters do not abide. Thus the Lord answered me, if you repent, so that I restore you. In my presence, you shall stand. If you bring forth the precious without the vial, you shall be my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you, and you shall not turn to them. And I will make you toward this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail. For I am with you, to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue from the grasp of the violent. The word of the Lord. The psalm responds, God is my refuge on the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O oh my God. From my adversities, defend me. Rescue me from evil doors. From bloodthirsty men, save me. God is my refuge on the day of distress. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Mighty men come together against me. Not for any offense of sin of mine, O Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O oh, my strength, for you I watch. For you, O oh God, are my stronghold. As for my God, may his mercy go before me. May he show me the fall of my foes. God, my refuge in the day of distress. But I will sing of your strength and revel at dawn in your mercy. You have been my stronghold, my refuge in the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. 
O oh, my strength, your praise will I sing. For you, O oh God, are my stronghold, my merciful God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord When hearing or seeing the kingdom of God, if anyone has listened to Father Rich Simon, Father Simon says on relevant radio, he always says that it's the kingliness of God, that it is that kingly nature of the Lord. And in that way, some of those parables change a little bit, that in the kingly nature of God, he searches for a pearl of great price and then sells all that he has in order to purchase it. And for us, it's a reminder that we are that treasure, we are that pearl, that our Lord wants to receive us and willing to give everything in order for our freedom, in order for that reception, that there's that such a super abundance of giving, such a super abundance of pouring out before us. That is something that we see upon the cross, where our salvation, being free from sin and death, is so great that our Lord is willing to die on the cross for us, to lay down everything so that we might be received into the kingdom. And that way it is up to us again, in that way of gratitude and gratefulness, to say, if I am a pearl of great price, if I am a great treasure, how do I live in that royal nature of God? How do I live knowing that the Lord has that great desire for me? Well, I will then hopefully seek the Lord, hopefully as a pearl shine brightly to be found and to be seen, so that I might be able to be received. It is that way of continually shining our light toward the Lord so that, or shining our mirror or our window to the Lord, so that we might recognize what is not reflecting that light as brightly and trying to change that through the great grace of God, trying to be able to show that light as brightly as we possibly can. My dear sisters and brothers, let us continually be grateful for the Lord as well as continually be uh, receptive of the kingdom of God, so that through that, we might continually walk in the midst of the Lord and continually know the Lord as our King and receive that royal nature here on earth and eternally in heaven. My dear sisters and brothers, in search of eternal treasure, 
Let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For all who follow Christ, may they exchange earthly treasure for wealth that brings fullness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For priests and pastoral ministers, may they lead God's people in search of their heart's true desire. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For seekers and spiritual pilgrims, may they discover the source of all joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for teachers and students, may they together grow in hunger for knowledge beyond Christ. We pray to the Lord. For merchants and dealers, may they pursue a wealth of justice and equality. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the fields and fruits of the earth may their gifts be cultivated with care and gratitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the sick and impaired. May they search for healing and bring them treasure for body and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for John Dedowitz, for Joseph Prepura, and for peace in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead, known and unknown, may they discover the hidden riches of the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the better, the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are great. Lord God, we thank you so much for all the pearls, the blessings you have given upon us. Lord, hear our prayer. We welcome unto the name of God's revelation this week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents and children who are getting ready for school, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these intentions and those in the sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Desire of our hearts, you have hidden within us gifts beyond measure to bring the fullness of joy. Guide us in our search for you that we may discover with delight the treasure that sets us free. Through Christ, our pearl of great price. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but we come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining you a holy people, he stretched out his hands to endure his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we have heard. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Zion and Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zion and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks your call this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. We are also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We in marriage be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
May we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all time, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Dear, let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Let us pray for our mother and mothers. Mother, 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 holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, whom your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confident in thee, I trust in you. I know that you can, by all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin. For in me, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers.